Do you want to know how we manage to live debt free and save more than $10,000 a year while making close to minimum wages? Then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Val and along with my beautiful wife Kate, we teach multicultural couples how to manage their money so they can create their own Canadian or American dream. So if you're new here, consider subscribing right here and hit that bell next to it so you won't miss any future episodes. So let us tell you how we managed to save so much money while making $10.25 and $11.50 an hour. Yep, you heard it right. About nine years ago, Kate was making $10.25 an hour and I was making $11.50 per hour while we were living in Winnipeg without any family around to support us. So as we always say, in extreme situations, you need to make some extreme decisions. Let us know in the comment if you agree with us. So this is how we did it. We rented a basement room in a big old house with four more other people which brought us six people under one roof. So all the bills were split by six people. Rent, heating, electricity, uh, water, internet. And this helped us a lot to save quite a lot of money. Also, I had a car that I paid cash for and I had to sell it. And trust me, it was painful to see my beautiful baby go, but hey, we didn't have to pay insurance, gas or maintenance anymore. Plus that we got a good amount of cash going to our savings, which helped us to put the down payment for our first condo. So yes, I went from driving my beautiful sports car into taking a bus every day. And if you want to tell me, oh, whoa, whoa, no, I can't live without my car. I need it. So I'll tell you the ugly truth. You don't need it. It just make your life more comfortable, more convenient, but you don't need it. Do you remember where I said we were living? Winnipeg, which most of the people in Canada refer to it as winter pack. On a regular day in the winter, it's minus 25 Celsius, which is about minus 30, uh, minus 13 Fahrenheit. And this is just another regular day. So if we survive it while taking a bus every day, I'm sure you can handle it as well. And I just want to mention that this was a big year for us as we just purchased our condo, we got married and by the end of the year, we moved to our new home. We had a lot of changes in a very short period of time and still we were able to manage to save that much money. So let me show you the numbers of that year. Okay, so here is our spreadsheet, which if I haven't mentioned it before, you as well can download it from our website. We're gonna have the link below, so go ahead. It's gonna be easy to keep track of your money spending. So this was our monthly income. It was my income, my wife's income. I'm going to talk a little bit about this later as we scroll down. But overall, for now, we were renting our condo that we just purchased for $800. And then I'm going to show you how much we were spending on it. So thanks to us living with all these roommates, our expenses were very low on rent. Uh, we had electricity, water heating, all of it. It was about $65. We took the average from the this uh, nine months that we lived there and we put, we divided by nine. So we got the average. As we mentioned, we sold our car. So we had to pay for bus passes and that was coming to $150 a month. Prescription drugs here and there were getting sick antibiotics, whatever it was we were buying, I already can't remember, uh, phone, cell phone bills, we always were doing plan together, it was a little bit less expensive, 
on the internet again we were spending less because we were dividing it by six people that's our average groceries 400 300 some like that depend on the month some months more some less but overall it's pretty much kind of same every month some gifts for the family and friends here and there uh, at that time uh, we were helping uh, my wife family so we were sending them hundred dollars every month because uh, they really could use it and we were able to help so if you don't have anybody you need to be helping in you could be saving twelve hundred dollars more on clothing we were spending a little bit more than we are now so as you see we have here there here we had some big expense but that's how much we spend more than the usual here hair salon tanning makeup haircuts we barely spend money on that and that's because i learned how to cut my own hair how i mentioned before and i was helping my wife to cut her hair so this is more like if she needed some creams or small stuff like that it's that restaurants as you see we almost never go sometimes we do but it's very very rarely so we just want to show you how much money you can actually save on that there's a lot of savings because people usually go every week so it's four times a month it's a lot of money you you can be saving 200 dollars a month easy just with that same talking about that take out food and just make your meal plan make sure you have food in the fridge and you'll never have to spend on that and at that point of time as you see we were spending a lot more on beers wine parties because we were young and crazy so we were going out a lot with our friends uh, we were but mainly we were always drinking at home all together so we were not spending much money when we go into the bar because usually we'd bring all our friends and we're all drinking and partying together having fun other entertainment not too much because main entertainment is right here on a weekend <laughs> so that's what we were spending so here what i said i'm gonna touch a little bit later on the income property that's the condo that we purchased but we have not moved there yet because we wanted to save more money and we knew our expenses are gonna go higher as soon as we're gonna move to our new condo so we stayed so we can save that money uh, we stayed after we purchased the condo we stayed living with the roommates for 10 months it was very tough especially when you know you have an apartment there waiting for you but we knew we can save more money and we were determined so we were actually spending 819 dollars a month on our mortgage main uh, on the insurance condo fees all that stuff but we were renting it for 800 dollars a month so we were negative 19 dollars but still we saved a lot of money right here because we our rent was lower plus all our bills were lower and internet was lower so it was worth it and here just some money on the taxi where we're going here and there cash tip ice cream thing like that and just the sometimes here and there ice cream go to the movie and the big thing that happened this year as i mentioned we got married and we spent a whooping 750 dollars on our huge wedding so we got married in february we had an amazing wedding my friends still say it was one of the best weddings they have been to and obviously not because it was fancy but because how intimate emotional and fun this wedding was we all had fun we all enjoyed plus we got a lot to drink so that's always make fun for that and our spending that month on the clothing was more than the usual because that's 180 it's how much money my wife spent on her wedding dress and she looked beautiful and uh, in october right here we had to spend a little bit more money on our furniture uh, 
when we moved to the condo because all we had <laughs> from furniture, uh, we had a mattress, we had a dresser, we had computer desk and a chair, and that's about it. So we did have to spend a little bit more on furniture to make our place a little bit nicer. So here, as you see, our expenses in October went a little bit higher because of now we had to pay mortgage. We had to pay, uh, we were only paying heat electricity because the rest was covered by our condo fee and we had to pay property taxes. So our expenses went a little bit higher than our months prior to that. And another thing, what I did um, in the middle of the year, I started working on the weekends. Every second weekend I was going, uh, which was bringing us another $840 a month. And so this was extremely painful for me, this time of work, because I would be coming home on Friday after my full-time job. I was finishing about four. I would run home. I would change. I would take my bag. My wife would prepare me some sandwiches. And I was off again to the bus and to the place I was working. At that time, I was working as a long haul truck driver on the weekends, going from Winnipeg to Chicago. So I would leave Friday about 6.30 and I would get back home about Sunday. I can remember around like four or five afternoon. So we were, I was driving in a team, which is me and another guy. And you can't really sleep because you laying down in the bunk there at the back and just jumping like a sardine. So not the most fun time of my life, but it was bringing money and it was bringing a lot of extra money. And uh, like we, we are, were determined to save money. So, so we could buy a car for cash and boost our savings account again because the down payment for the condo that we bought took all of our savings. So we just kept pushing through it. So to show you all the totals, we made 39,000 working together full-time job. This is including the rental income which it's kind of uh, take each other out because we were spending 819 and we were receiving uh, the income 800. So it's almost zero out. Plus, by working this four months, we made $3,360 extra for the year. So that was our total income. That was our total expense for that year, and this is how much we managed to save. $10,520 saved. And that's how we saved so much money. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it with your friends, your family, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. Click that subscribe button, the bell notification beside it, so you won't miss any further episodes. For now, Keep crushing your money goals and we'll see you next time.